All right, guys. So the buzzer connections are going to take a wire and connect one terminal to the positive of buzzer, and the other terminal will go to the negative of breadboard. Let's do that. Then you're going to take another wire and connect it to the negative of the buzzer, and you're going to connect the other terminal to any random row of the breadboard. Then you're going to take another wire connected to the same row, and you're going to connect the other terminal of the wire to the third pin. of the 555 timer from the left moving on to the capacitors connections you're going to connect one terminal of the capacitor to the negative of the breadboard directly then you're going to take another wire and connect it to the other terminal of the capacitor and the other terminal of the wire will go to the third pin of the 555 timer from the left you're going to take another wire and connect it to the same terminal of the capacitor and connect it to any random row of the breadboard then you're going to take another wire and connect it to the second pin from the left of the 555 timer then you're going to connect the rightmost pin of the 555 timer to the positive of breadboard then you're going to take another wire and connect the leftmost pin of the top of the 555 timer again to the positive of breadboard Then you're going to take a hundred ohm resistor and connect one terminal to the second pin from the left top of the 555 timer and connect the other end to the positive of breadboard. Let's do that. You're going to take another hundred ohm resistor and connect it to the same pin of the 555 timer to which the other resistor was connected and connect it to any other row of the breadboard. Then you're going to take another wire and connect that. other terminal of the resistor to the third pin of the top from the left let's do that there we go then we're going to take a wire and connect the leftmost pin down to the negative of breadboard and finally for our very last connection we're going to connect both the terminals of the positive of breadboard together we are officially done now we just have to do the battery connections Then you're going to take your 9 volt battery and connect the negative of battery to the negative of breadboard and the positive of battery to the positive of breadboard. Before I do this last connection, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any video when I post one. All right, let's do this. 3 2 1 go. All right. So now I don't know if you can hear it, but there are some invisible vibrations going out from the buzzer which repel the mosquitoes so that they will never come into your house ever again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to try it at home and comment down below how it turned out thank you so much for watching bye